everybody. Um, my name is Ruth. Um, I am a member of Christ Central Church in Red Hill. Uh, yeah, and I'm leading today's devotional from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Um, before I begin, um, I'll just say a short prayer and then we can start. Um, thank you, Father, for this morning. Thank you for the sun. Thank you that we have the gift of life today. I pray that you be with each and every one of us. Um, yeah, Lord, and that you would just speak to our hearts in a way that is special to us. Amen. Um, last week, we looked at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and we touched on a range of matters facing the Corinthian church. Um, and I guess one of the areas we looked at that was quite important and very relevant was sort of the ministry of reconciliation especially in light of everything happening in the world today um so i'll start by reading second corinthians 6 1 2 2 and i'm reading from the niv version of the bible and it says it's god's co-workers we urge you not to receive god's grace in vain for he says, in the time of my favor, I heard you. And in the day of salvation, I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. Um, in talking about this part, in, about this verse in today's devotion, I will split it into three parts. Um, in the first and second part, I will look at verses one and two, and I guess, what my takeouts from it was and in the third part of the devotional i would like us to look at our response to this um so yeah for, for the first part um verse one as god's co-workers we urge you not to receive god's grace in vain um when i read this part of the devotion the first word that jumped out to me was co-worker um because for me it was a timely reminder that everyone who accepts jesus um as their lord and savior is sort of employed and commissioned by god to be his minister of the gospel um as co-workers it means we are working alongside god and jesus to bring a change um into this world um and i think it's such an amazing thing to, to know that we are change bearers um like we are working with God to, to bring healing um, into our communities. I thought that was a fantastic take out from this. Um, and in the sort of second part of the first verse, it says, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. Um, and I started to think about my own understanding of God's grace. Um, and I would challenge you to do the same at some point today, um, if you have the time. Um, so yeah, my understanding of God's grace was, is that um, he is, uh, he sent Jesus to die for me and that because of him, I have, um, I have, I have life um, and I know that um, I will spend my eternity with Jesus. Um, I also wrote God's grace is his presence and wisdom with me, his love for me his strength in my weakness and his gift and the gift of undeserving love. Um, your understanding of God's grace is very different from mine because um, for some people it's shaped by their experiences, um, some by their, yeah, their experiences actually, experiences of God and experiences of life. Um, but one thing that is important to note is that every single one of us enjoys the grace of God and we have a duty not to neglect it. I started thinking about the people in the Bible who received the grace of God and I guess didn't neglect it. And there are lots of them in the Bible, lots, of, it's everywhere in the Bible. But a story that jumped out to me or instantly came to my mind was the story of the Ethiopian eunuch um, and Philip, which can be found in the book of Acts chapter eight, verse 26 to 40. Um, and in summary, there was an Ethiopian eunuch, um, he, he served um, one of the court officials, one of the uh, the queen of um, of the Ethiopians. I can't even speak. That <laughs> he had come to Jerusalem to worship, uh, and upon returning back to Ethiopia, he was seated in his chariot and was reading um, the book about the prophet Isaiah. 
Um, and an angel of God said to Philip to go to him, um, to, sorry, to rise up and go to a road that goes to Jerusalem to Gaza. And when he did, he saw the Ethiopian eunuch was on his way in his chariot. Um, and the Spirit of God told Philip to go over and join the chariot. Um, in obedience, he ran and he joined it. And he heard the eunuch reading the book of reading about Isaiah the prophet. And he asked him, do you understand what you are reading? And he said, well, how can I unless someone guides me? Long story short, Philip tells him about the good news of Jesus. Um, and as they were going, they came across a road that um, there was a river to the side. Um, and the eunuch said, see, there's some water was preventing me from being baptized. Um, and he commanded his chariot to stop and Philip got down and baptized him. And as soon as he came out of the water, the spirit of God carried Philip away and the eunuch saw him no more and went on his way rejoicing. Now, why this story stood out to me um, in the terms that he didn't, he didn't take the grace of God in vain or didn't utilize it in vain was that history tells us um, or history speaks of the Ethiopian eunuch um, as potentially being one of the people who took the gospel to the part of the world where he was, um, which was, I guess, an example of um, someone receiving the grace of God and not using it in vain and spreading the gospel to the ends of the earth. Um, and there I say that the same applies to us today. Um, and we are not to lose this, um, this grace that's been given to us because it's very easy for us to keep it to ourselves. Um, but we are not called to keep it to ourselves. We're called to share it to, to everyone. For the second part, it says, um, it, it says, in the time of favor, I heard you. And in the day of salvation, I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. Um, as I said before, God's promise of salvation was fulfilled with Jesus. Um, it is his favor, which I define as undeserving grace that gives us this gift. Um, salvation remains the same today and the grace of God is here for us. Um, just as God causes the rain and sun to fall on all people, both good and bad, his grace is available to all, every single person. Um, and we have a duty as his co-workers to share that um, favor and grace with others. Um, yeah, and that really sums up what I got from the two verses um, when I read it. And that's that part of the devotion that has come to a close. Um, I would now like us to sort of go into the third part, which is our response and our, our response to, to, to this, to the grace of God. Um, and I was thinking maybe we could just start by closing our eyes and just in our hearts, wherever we are, just thanking God for this morning, um, thanking God for the grace of, for his grace, um, for the grace of life as well. Um, so if we could just do that for a few minutes, just where you are in your heart, just whisper some thanks to him. Um, if you feel um, any particular sort of urging to just pray for anyone, now will be a good time to do it. Um, but yeah, it'll be good just to bring your day as well to God and just ask him to, to give you his grace for today and for everything that today holds. Um, and to remind you that you are also his co-worker. And then um, I would also like us at this point to just bring our nation to the hands of God and just to ask him for just his, his wisdom and grace for our leaders um, as, they, as they lead this country into sort of the next phase. Um, yeah, that will be, now will also be a good time to just, just bring that up. 
to God. Julian, I was wondering if you could please um, unmute everyone. So if anyone wants to pray um, out loud now, they can do that. Yeah, you've all been unmuted. So if anyone has anything on their hearts to pray for, um, or just for anyone or any words of thanks or encouragement now would be a good time to just bring it up um, i'll start by praying thank you father for this morning um father i'm just reminded about how good you are um, i'm reminded about your kindness and your provision and your love for us father i pray that we will not take your grace for granted um, I pray for grace for others as well. I pray that you just use us. Even when we don't feel like it, you continue to use us. 